Afternoon feeding time. They're getting fed every three hours within a 24 hour period. Me, me and my husband take shifts. I got the morning shift. He has the night shift. They're drinking their milk. They are in the water. You can see it got pretty muddy. They've been laying out over here behind this fence now, which I don't like them laying there only because when you want to come in, they're stuck right there. They could get their legs all stuck. Come on, sissy. Why you want to lay on top of everybody? Sissy. They're going over there to use the toilet. This one right here, she is very independent. Sissy, like my future worker. He's working it up. You're the future worker, ain't you? Future worker. Why are you going to lay right there? I got to get in and out of here. If you lay right there, how are you like me to get out? Oh, thank goodness, it's a breeze. Breezy, breezy, peasy. Easy as peasy. What you eating? None now. None now. Gaka. They are working the area, though. They've been working. We got one free solar over here. She's a free soul. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. What are you doing, Bonnie girl? That's a Bonnie baby. Looks just like Bonnie. And that one is like a Bonnie and, and Clyde baby. Mm-hmm. Hi, sissy. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you all eating over there? And the crowd patrollers are coming through. Blue and his piggies. It'd be nice. This one I don't trust. Him. Troublemaker. Go, troublemaker. Did him on. Out of there. I got to go in the back. I got to give Stubbs some water because he didn't want to move last night. He was being really a really pain in the behind. Come on, y'all. has got to move. You can't sit there. You're going to get hurt. Come on. Come on. You got to move. I got to get through. Back it up. Back it up, fatties. Back it up, fatties. But the dogs are doing dog patrol. They're doing dog patrol. That's buzzer patrol to us, which is always good to have. A dog that will chase after the buzzards. Oh, oh so hot today. Be nice. Be nice. So they like hanging out here, which I'm going to get another shade here to put here so the dogs don't bother them. And then I got to go in the back to where Stubbs is still in the back pen there. He refuses to move. It was easier to move him when Bonnie was here because he would just follow Bonnie. But now Bonnie's not here. And he doesn't want to come out of that back pen back there. Oh, this is so hot today. So, so hot. I was able to score me five 15-gallon uh, containers. But, you know, once again, you can ask people into their blue in the nose. Blue Moon! If these containers will wash, the guy told me the containers will wash, and here you are now. The containers ain't washed. And this dog here, come on, move out of the way. You need to back it up. Back it up. Yeah, you keep on rubbing your ass up on this tree stump. It's hot. And you keep on messing yourself up. You insist on being outside in this weather. Not me. Uh, and, of course, I asked a guy about these containers. If they were clean. Yeah, they're clean. Go down and pick up the containers. And they're not clean. I don't have water. I don't have water here. The whole reason why I got the containers was easier for us. Then we don't have to fill up these containers. I want to get rid of my old containers. 
so I don't have to I have water there but what else is new can't do nothing about it and uh, hopefully later on tonight I'm gonna have to withhold food from Stubbs for 24 hours and try to get him into this pen because this is this is the long way he has to walk and I really don't want to come back here anymore until we get Bonnie all situated right and correctly back here and uh, I mean good gosh we put like 80 gallons of dirt on top of her 10 gallon containers and we know we still have a lot more that we have to do but I don't want to continue coming back here anymore this is just been a disaster zone I got this big fan I got to get out I got to take down this pen and I also got to get stubs up out of here right stubs Stubbs don't want to come out because he knows he got a mud hole here. Right, Stubbs? Oh, sweat in my eyes. It's like going into the ocean. It's like going into the ocean. It's hot. It gets hot there. Doesn't it slice? Doesn't it? Donated Bonnie's container to Stubbs right now because I don't have another container at this current time. And I gotta get Stubbs down there to those piglets because he's the one who's gonna teach them how to be pigs. I mean, they come out knowing a lot of stuff already, which is great. But I want them to like. Uh oh, what is that? Oh. The stupid shit came off down anyway. These bags don't work anyway. Hang from the tree. It'd be nice if they worked though. Hang them from the tree all the hell you want. It'd be nice if they worked though. I'd be tired of this is this is starting to become really tiring too. I'm three weeks out of getting me a water well. Three weeks out. Three more weeks we have to deal with this. He has food. I'm not feeding him as much food as he likes to get eaten. Only because Stubbs don't need to eat that much food. What Stubbs needs is... Uh, <sighs> poor Bonnie girl. I miss, I, I just sick when I come back here. What Stubbs needs is, uh, yeah, yeah, his house fell down a little bit over there. Uh, it's hanging up by a string. What Stubbs needs is, Stubbs, I want to take you out of here. Don't you want to move to a new pen? Don't you want to go up there with the babies? I'll give you a nice housey for you to live in. I'm going to take this down. And give it to Stubbs down there. But my husband has to... It's kind of hard to do it in the daytime around here. So it's already 10,000 degrees out here. And we got Bonnie over there. She's... Every day we're covering her and covering her and covering her. Some don't like being by himself. He has to be with people and, human, and his piggy friends. But I'm going to have to take... Probably take down one of these long tins... And one of these, this long tin, get him out of his pen and try to guide him up to his house. I, I don't, I hope we could get pulled this off because we have to come out of his pen where he is right there, where that black shade is. Come out of that. Come all the way through here on this road, all the way up there to where the pig pen is. I want to put him in the same pen with the, with the Bonnie's kids. Um, so far so good. He didn't try to hurt them in any way. They were only two days old and they got in the pen with him when Bonnie went down into the, into her mud hole. And I didn't know she was in the mud hole until I got home from doing a contracted job. And, uh, yeah, the piglets have been with him in that pen. So 
I'm assuming if I get Stubbs into this pen, I just have to dig him a nice little mud hole for himself and um, get him situated. And they basically lay by that door right there. Let me check on them. Because they do move around. They haven't escaped yet, though. Which is great. Yeah. Pull it up for you guys. That one always hears grandma. No sleeping there. Get up. Get out of there. Sleeping. Oh, I can't. See how retarded it is? It's retarded like Bonnie. That pig is exactly like her. Oh, my goodness. Laying in the formula, thinking it's the bordering pole, the pool. I got to get a pool for them tomorrow from Walmart. It's just too hot right now to go do anything. I'm going to try to get them a pool tomorrow so I can fill water up in there and they can go in their pool. But other than that, I hope everybody has a great day from Green Steel USA LLC. Ciao.